time of widespread calls around the nation for police reform, several hundred people gather in Vermont's capital city to show their support for officers in the Green Mountain State. Local 22's Nick Anastasi was there too. People from across the Green Mountain State gathered on the State House lawn this afternoon to back the blue and show their support for Vermont law enforcement. Those supporters included a Republican candidate for governor from 2018. They're getting a bad rap. We know there's bad cops, just like there's bad firemen, bad actors, bad athletes. We know it. But the thing is, we got to make sure they get weeded out and support the ones that are doing their job. Tensions rose as people also showed up in support of police reform and defunding. There was some pushing, shoving, and shouting by people from both groups, but both also came together to speak with each other. This is not Portland, it's not Seattle, and it's not Chicago. This is Vermont, even if it's Montpelier, and there's a whole bunch of people in the house behind me that don't care about them, we care about them. Montpelier Police Chief Brian Pete was thankful for the support and understands that changes are necessary. He's hopeful an event like this will begin to change the conversation. We're just in a time right now that uh, it seems like they're, they're polarized opposites. And uh, so the, the hope is that we can all come together and make sure that we have these constructive dialogues and try to figure out what it is that our, our profession, our institution needs to do to improve its strength uh, in, in its community immersion. How can we become better? And, uh, and so, so we're just appreciative. It, the way I look at it is that everybody has a concern and I'm here to listen and we're here to do what we can to make Montpelier better, to make our, our police institutions better. Nick Anastasi, Local 22 News, Montpelier.